speaking of being on campus or not being on campus in this instance, you're an interesting time, Coach, with how you get you have to approach recruiting. I mean, as you know, fall sports postponed till they're gonna looks like they're gonna reconsider it or reopen it at the top of the year, even though not other not all the other Power Five conferences are going that route. I have a sneaking suspicion that they're going to come to uh, realize the error of their ways uh, in the coming months with some of the other uh, conferences that are still moving business as usual. But the Pac-12, you know, postponed at this point. So from your perspective, as you said, you got. 16 17 year old besties putting you up on the new little baby song and uh, all this other stuff like you you know you got all the new stuff from them and you you give them an offer and then you check their twitter say blessed to receive an offer from ucla you know how they do they put the they put the photoshop picture and the, it's a whole it's a whole racket like jb said so with how with how you're looking at this fall when you're so used to a routine like you said getting your guys in there and acclimated and making sure that they are learning the playbook and building the good habits. That's not necessarily happening now. So in your day to day now, how has that changed? And also how has that changed your approach to recruiting? It's a, this is a total different, this is, I, I've never been in this kind of, this realm, just the virtual rant realm of everything. Right. Like Zoom, Zoom party, baby. Yeah. It's different right. like this. And recruiting is turning into Zoom too. So, you know, you got to do a lot more. The only thing that's helped in the pandemic is that we've been able to Zoom with the players more. So now you're getting more formidable talking instead of just on the phone. Mm -hmm. Since I can't go to your school, you can't come to UCLA neither. But, you know, we were going to be behind anyway because we're in California. So the Pac-12 was going to have to do something because other cities, other towns and states, they can practice or they can do on-field instruction. They can do stuff like that. And we were still barely able to lift weights in pods of 10. You know what I'm saying? So we couldn't do anything together as, as coaches. So it was, we, we were getting behind as the, as it, as it went along. So it was kind of in the, in the best realm that, you know, you're losing what, four, four schools in the, in California, you know what I mean? So it was kind of in a bad situation. California didn't open. We were just going to be behind because everybody else in the Pac-12 could start practicing. So they, that was something that they were just going to have to figure out. But if you can't put these kids in classes, then they can't be on the field. You know, right. like the student athlete is not athlete student. And that's just how we conduct it is that you're a student athlete. So if that's how we're going to do it. And if they can't be in these classes, they can't be on the field. And that's just how we got to we got to approach it just like that. So I think hopefully once we can get this this, this thing under control, it'll start going. Good. We, we brought our players back. We haven't had any any negative tests since like July 7th or anything like that. So our, our little mini bubble that we had for our players were working so far. And we just try to keep the numbers down of everybody that's coming into the building. You know, if you're right. a player, come in there, strength staff and trainers, you know, and then coaches, you know, we would rotate through there to come out and just watch practice and stuff like that. But other than that, you just got to find a, it's hard to get my guys into a routine because each day is different. You know, it's right. just, you know, it's, it's just a different, it's just a different thing. Each day they're waking up and then a lot of the kids dealing with mental health, you know, it's a little bit different than when we was playing JV, you know, it was kind of, you, you, you kind of just figured it out yourself a little bit, you know, right. that mental health, we didn't really have anybody to talk to or turn to with that stuff. But right. now you know, I, I can bring that up to them, make sure how they feel mentally. Cause a lot of these boys, this is the first time they ain't had ball. Right, right. Like when you don't have exactly. ball the first time, you know what I'm saying? So it's just make sure that they they mentally there and, and get them in a routine of maybe we can start a little bit more different stuff in life. I try to tell my guys, let's let's do some internships right now. You know what I mean? Right. We can lift weights. Let's let's just try to get ahead for after football. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. This, this is the time to do it. Exactly. Yeah. You can do that right now because there's not a lot of football. All you got is weights and stuff like that. So I just try to hit them the game and just how to do a little bit of stuff to – to try to get ready for life. Right, right. no doubt.